excited to look towards that future and make sure that whatever improvements occur are really creating that optimal learning space. This could be the beginning of a new phase for two Salt Lake City high schools. The school district has contracted two different firms to conduct feasibility studies on upgrading these two high schools. Fox 13 News reporter Scott McCain is live with a hearing tonight in the first stages of this process. Scott? Yeah, good morning, guys. And uh, yeah, tonight, Salt Lake City School District officials taking their show on the road, conducting a meeting here tonight at Highland High. And they'll be discussing uh, what could be uh, imminent for both this campus, improvements here, and also at the, one of the city's oldest schools, West High. Uh, this has uh, been the beginning of what will likely be a very long-term process. But uh, both schools, apparently, uh, it's been decided that they need upgrades. And uh, it's a situation where they want to begin those talks now. And there are two different architectural firms that have been hired to examine each of these schools so far. NWL Architects, they will be present at tonight's meeting here at Highland High, along with school leaders, and they'll be discussing those very first steps. Also, they want to hear from community members who are expected to be here as well. Last night, VCBO Architecture, their officials speaking about their process, their plans, their vision for West High School. They say the biggest things that caught their eyes right off the bat, accessibility, classrooms that were too small, and more than a dozen unsecured official entrances to West High. You're seeing all of these, these all antiquated um, uh, heating and cooling systems, and so it's been supplemented by upwards of 100 of these, these individual units that we have in classrooms that are using tons of electricity that the school district and therefore the taxpayer is paying for. Yeah, West High, for folks who don't know, will be celebrating its 100-year anniversary of the original building a little later this year. So the architects say they want to make sure they're not destroying any of the experiences or the architectural integrity from, uh, you know, a century of students heading in and out of that building. Now, again, this is just the beginning of the process, baby steps, if you will. Uh, both firms hoping to have their feasibility studies complete uh, a little later on this year, hopefully by then or the beginning of next year at the very latest. And then at that point, uh, you know, school board members, they can take a look at all of this and then talk about possibly putting this up for a bond, putting it up to the public for a vote, figuring out how much this is all going to cost. For now, we're live in Salt Lake City. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.